Hello people, let us look at Mick Evans triangle. Okay, so we are looking at the year, right? And we are trying to understand what Mick Evans triangle is, or it is also called as a supramedial triangle. Okay, so let us look at what this is. So basically, Mick Evans triangle or supramedial triangle is important landmark. It's a bony landmark in doing mastoid surgery. Okay, so whenever they are doing surgery. It's a bony landmark, okay? So you know where the mastoid is and all that, right? So look at this one now. So if this is your um, external ear canal, right? So basically this is your bony ear canal. So external ear canal has cartilaginous part and bony part. Here the bony ear canal they are talking about. So this inside, okay? Some depth from where the bone starts. So that will be this external ear canal, the bony part. Okay. So here, what you can see in orange, this will be the McEwen triangle. Are you able to see the McEwen triangle where it is? So this is the McEwen triangle. Okay. So have you got the concept now where exactly McEwen triangle is and uh, a high level you have got, right? What exactly it is? It is a bony landmark used for mastoid surgery. Okay. So basically, what are they trying to locate here? They're trying to locate the mastoid antrum. They want to reach this antrum, the mastoid antrum they want to reach and they want to know how to reach it. So they are using a landmark. They need a landmark. So what is mastoid antrum? Now you'll ask what mastoid antrum is. So you know that in our year, <clears throat> we have these, uh, uh, in the bone, you have the air cells, right? So if this is the mastoid, in the mastoid, you have the air cells. The largest air cell is the antrum. We'll try to explain a little more in detail. See, this is the external auditory canal. It has two parts. See here, till here it is cartilaginous. You can see pinkish back, uh, boundary, right? From here it's the bony. Bony you can see here. This is the bony uh, part. So this circle, right? That we are saying the bony external auditory canal. Okay, next to it you will have the supramatal triangle or the McEwen triangle. You can see here, this is the mastoid. In this, can you locate the mastoid? This is the mastoid. So, a lot of air cells are there in it. The largest air cell will be the antrum. So, here they are talking about antrum. You can see here, mastoid air cells in the mastoid process and above it you have the antrum. Okay. For some reason, now they want to reach the mastoid antrum. They want to locate this. So, this McEwen triangle will help them in mastoid surgery. So, first of all, from outside, they will go uh, in via the surface landmark. So surface landmark will be the Simba Conca. Look at the spelling also here. S Y M B. Sorry, C Y M B A. Simba Conca. So this entire thing is the Conca, right? There are two parts in it. So the Simba Conca on top and another Conca down here. Just remember the Simba Conca. Via this they will enter. Okay, this is going to be a surface landmark. Once they reach the bone, they will need a bony landmark. Okay. So let us look at the triangle. Okay. So here you can see that this is the external ear canal, the bony part. Okay. The bony external ear canal. So the supramatal triangle. Look at the triangle. Triangle will have three borders, right? So let us look at the, first of all, we look at the superior border. Superior border, they are saying it is nothing but the temporal line. Okay. So temporal line, this is same as the, the line with same as the zygomatic arch. Let's try to understand this. So here they are saying superiorly, so this triangle superiorly you have, what is it? It's nothing but the temporal line, which is just continues as the zygomatic arch, that line. Okay. So this is the zygomatic arch, right? So this will be the temporal line. So basically here, this will be the superior border of your McEwen triangle. Okay. So you have got one landmark now, one border of this landmark. What about posteriorly? Posteriorly, you have a line drawn as a tangent to your canal. No, it is a line drawn as a tangent to external canal. Okay, let's look at this. So basically they are saying that if this is the external canal, right, they, line, they are drawing a line as a tangent to this, so this blue line, so they are drawing this as a tangent, so this becomes the posterior border, okay. So the posterior border 
of this triangle is the tangent to the external ear canal. Okay, so we got one more border. So now last border left. Last border. That is the anterior border. Anterior, anteriorly what do you have? You have the posterior superior segment of bony external auditory canal. <clears throat> of this external auditory canal itself, the posterior superior segment will be the anterior border of the triangle. Let's understand that. So here you have the external ear canal. The posterior superior, the posterior superior part of this external ear canal will be the anterior border of this triangle. So the anterior border of this triangle is the posterior, <clears throat> posterior superior segment of the external ear canal. The superior border is nothing but the temporal line which is continuous with the zygomatic arch. What about the posterior part of this triangle? The posterior part of this triangle is made by a tangent to the external ear canal. Oops. So look at this. We will try to locate this McEwen triangle. So the superior border is this line, temporal line which is continuous with the zygomatic uh, this is uh, with the zygomatic arch that is the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. The posterior line is nothing but a tangent to the external ear canal. So we are drawing a tangent to the external ear canal and the anterior border is nothing but the posterior superior segment of this ear canal. So now we got the McEwen triangle. So why do you use McEwen triangle? To reach the mastoid antrum during mastoid surgery. What is this antrum? It is nothing but the largest air cell in the mastoid. Okay. That's all for now in this uh, video guys. We'll meet you in the next video. Bye bye.